welcome to the Sola and Stella show. We're here to show you how to Stella and Sola. Starring <laughs> Stella and Sola. Yep. I'm here with Stella. I'm here with Sola. And we're shopping for each other today. Stella has no idea what I'm gonna be getting her. She has no idea what I'm gonna be getting her. We don't even know what's at the market. So we don't know what we're getting, we don't know what we're gonna do with it, we don't even know what they have for sale, but we're gonna buy it and we're gonna cook the hell out of it. <laughs> Go! Basically, Sola's just gonna be making dinner for me. I'm gonna buy everything that I want to eat, and then she's gonna do something magical with it. This is like the best day ever. If Sola doesn't buy these for me, I'm gonna be so angry. So I just bought a bunch of blueberries, raspberries, and strawberries. They were $28. So I really broke the bank here, but they're very delicious, so I'm expecting great things. Wanna get some something savory to piss her off? Garlic scapes, that would be very mean. She'd better buy me buttermilk. $3, I'm getting some polenta. If I buy her polenta, she has to make polenta. <laughs> herbs. What is this? I haven't seen this before. That is ashwagandha root. It's a mouthful. Does it have a strong flavor? It's kind of bitter and woody, but you can brew it with anything to change the flavor of it. I want something that's going to be add like a nice herbal tone to like some fruit. Have you smelled the anise hyssop? Mm -mm. Like licorice -y? Oh, that's really nice. I think I want to do some of this. So I just bought some ashwagandha and anise hyssop, and I'm really excited to see what Stella does with this. Anise hyssop? Got a very licorice y smell. I don't like licorice, so I'm not gonna get it. Throw in our little curveball. I'm gonna get a little basket of onions. Hey, I like to get a bunch of fresh I'm gonna get a butter. That's it, thank you very much. Have a good one. I can buy so much stuff at this rate. Hi. I think I wanna go for this, uh, this buckwheat honey. It's like got a darker flavor, a bit more. It's a bit more like aggressively honey. So I think it's gonna be a good challenge for her to incorporate it with these berries. I still have money left. Should I get her some yogurt? Hi, I think I'll go for some goat milk. So I'm really solid on my budget right now. And it's goat milk. What's she gonna do with that? She don't know. If you were a chef, what would you be most excited to receive from yourself? Our French guinea hens are always really wonderful. Um, these guys are anywhere from two and a half to three and a wow. half pounds. I have purchased a guinea fowl for Sola. It looks amazing. And it was $55. Hey, Sola, hey. come here. This incredibly wonderful man asked if I wanted to taste any um, whiskey. And I thought, this girl knows her whiskey. I do know my whiskey. So I just got a dozen eggs for $5. Should we get her some flowers? We should get some flowers. How do they taste? Mild. So I just got some hollyhocks for $5. Spontaneous flower purchase. I'm not familiar with this fife. Let's go for it. So I just got some red fife flower for $7. And I don't know what this is. And I don't think Stella does either. What? $4 bundle of radishes. I feel like I got everything I need, spent most of my money. Let's do this. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we're doing for work today. Uh, yeah, let's swap. Grocery swap. Slide. Slide. Okay. All right, this isn't too bad. Polenta. Love polenta. Radishes, one of my favorite ingredients. How did you know? Purslane. Shallots, always awesome. Now this I'm excited for. This looks like a good hen. She's, she's handsome. Oh my God, expensive. You are very nice to me. I wanted dinner. Eggs, red five flour from Canada. This is hyssop. It's the thing that I picked up that I was like, oh, I could get this for Sola, except I hate it. I feel like I could hex somebody with this. It's called ashwagandha. <gasps> Pasteurized goat milk, you do you like, like me. You like goat milk? I love goat milk. Oh, okay, perfect. This is wonderful. <laughs> bloobs, you know how I feel about bloobs. Buckwheat honey. Got some strawberries. Raspberries. Well, I'm gonna bake some cakes. I don't, know. I don't know, I just said that. Let's do this. We're ready? You're rolling. 
I really want to make the highlight of the meal the guinea fowl, but I want to do what's unexpected. I'm researching this mysterious herb. It's also known as Indian ginseng or poison gooseberry. It's trying to kill me. Before going into this, I knew immediately that I was going to make a cocktail because I love getting Stella drunk. I'm going to butter some rum. Buttering rum is great because you get butter flavor in the rum and rum flavor in the butter. Because this goat milk is so amazing, I want to make a fior de latte gelato. It means flour of milk or the best part of the milk. There's three times more milk than cream in this recipe, so that lets like the milk flavor really, really stand out. I'm going to whisk it up. That is extremely delicious. I'm, I'm proud of me. So now I'm going to speed chill it in an ice bath. Okay. Instead of buttering rum, I'm gonna butter some bourbon, because that's what we've got. I just wanna melt the butter, and I'm gonna mix that into my bourbon. I'm gonna make a raspberry swirl for the goat milk fior de latte gelato. So I'm gonna, whoa, I didn't, I didn't get myself. That's everything I want it to be. Okay, so I'm gonna roast the backbone and the wings and make some kind of jus or gravy, I'm not sure yet. And I'm gonna make a quick stock in the pressure cooker. So I'm gonna do a quick little braise using the dark meat from the guinea fowl. It's gonna be like a brown butter, buckwheat, honey, whole wheat cake. Okay, so there's my butter. It's gonna be browning. You know, screw it. Will you stir that a little bit for me, please? I have no idea how this is supposed to traditionally be prepared. Poison gooseberry root, or whatever it's called. Okay, I'm just gonna kinda like break it up a little bit so that it can get some exposure. This might be terrible. But it, at the end of the day, it's just gonna be a little hint of something. It's not gonna be a lot, and then I can say I used it. This is vaguely based off of my gingerbread that's on Serious Eats. It's a gingerbread sheet cake. Grease this sheet pan with a little bit of whole wheat flour. Ugh, this delicious local honey. Two, three. And just gonna whip it up until it's really thick and foamy. Here comes the brown butter, and it's been infused with the fruit of despair. Whole wheat flour, goat's milk. Either the greatest disaster of my life or a really fun experiment in the making. Okay, all that happens, I'm gonna get my stuffing ready. Such a nice loaf of bread that I kinda don't wanna do a whole lot to it, so I feel like a dressing on the side is kinda perfect. So now I'm gonna work on the cocktail. So this was in the freezer for not too long, what, like an hour? And the butter just separates right out like that. So now the bourbon smells like brown butter and the brown butter smells like bourbon. This is gonna be used to base the guinea fowl and I'm gonna use this for my cocktail. So an old fashioned is just, you muddle together a sugar cube with some bitters, you add your whiskey to it, and then an orange twist. That's good. Do you wanna try that? I don't know that it's gonna be any good. It's all right. You're gonna win this. It's not a competition, it's a date. How many things are you making? I can't talk about it. Polenta here, I've got cooking in some salted water. Once this is nice and soft, I'm gonna add some flour and maybe some yolks and turn it into a pasta. Have you ever done this before? No. What's the fun in doing something you already know is gonna work? My polenta's cooled off and I'm gonna try and turn it into pasta. This might totally not work. I'm gonna go in with my hands. I have no idea what I'm doing. We gotta go get some stuff flour from Stella. Stella? I'm trying something untried. <laughs> We're all taking risks today. <sighs> that, that looks <scary>. stable. <laughs> <laughs> Setting up the pasta roller to try and make some kind of ravioli out of whatever the hell I've done here. It's a little bit wet, so I think I need to run it through more just to develop the gluten a bit more. Okay, let's just do this. Let's just see what happens. No fucking way, this is not gonna work. Why do I make things harder for myself? I'm such a monster. I have some of the butter that Stella got me, getting it nice and foamy, and here are the radishes that I cut in half. I want to get a nice sear on the cut side without totally wilting the greens, so I'm putting them in like this. I think it's so pretty when the greens attached like that. Let's see if these raviolis stay together. Internet, internet, I need you to know that I know this ravioli is too thick, but I am limited by how coarse the polenta grain is. 
So, I got a bunch of strawberries from the farmer's market. I think I'm gonna try and turn them into a sort of ganache. Let's see if I can do it. I'm going to next throw in some of this hyssop. Hyssop? I don't know, this is not a word I've ever had to say out loud. I'm gonna add an equal weight of white chocolate. And they're pierogies at this point, they're so thick. I'm gonna finish it in this brown butter bourbon butter. I'm so glad Stella is kind. It's not my proudest moment. Going for that mid-90s fighting style. Soon. I think Sol is gonna hate it so much and I'm really excited about that. And then we've got some of this like extra raspberry and rose situation. So we're gonna like double zoom that across. The bloobs will help or they'll make it worse. They're like bloobed around. I'm gonna go for the center cut filet. This one's for Sola because it's more perfect. Okay. Beautiful. Cheers! Cheers! Taste the brown butter? Taste the brown butter. Not quite a ravioli, it's more like a pierogi. Pierogi roll. And then I finished it in some of the guinea hen Just kidding. fat. Oh. <laughs> a little bit thick, but it's like so tender. Okay. Are we doing this? That's fantastic. Crispy and chewy and like really meaty. It's so tender. You can be like, this is really Listen, bad. Listen, you, you can be bad at your job next time, and then I'll do that. Okay, radishes. The tops are attached. They're like a little spicy before I even started chewing. I don't have any creativity about food. Like I see something, I'm like, I see a banana, I'm like, it's gonna be banana bread. Like there's no surprise with me. It's just like, <laughs> what's the most obvious thing? And so this is like 0% what I was expecting, and it's so good. Honestly, it was a little annoying. How basic bitch the basket was. It was. I'm a basic <laughs> bitch. Mamuza. Mmm. Get a lot of raspberry. It's raspberry ripple. Raspberry ripple with goat milk ice cream. Gelato. Gelato. Because you're classy. Because there's no eggs. There's no vanilla. But I like to think that it's more because you're classy. It's because my name is Estella. I was fully expecting a pie. I gotta get a pie for Maple. With that Team flour. cake here. Man, that was that was a heck of a meal. No, sorry. I had so much fun with you. Dude. <laughs> Did you miss? One. One. Two. Three. Nailed it. <laughs>